Hey everyone, you might recall that Slack's early history was driven by the linear accelerator and all the excitement around particle physics. You can check out part one of our history series for that. Now we're jumping forward in time to the 1990s when some scientists saw a new use for the linear accelerator that would change the direction of Slack research in the new millennium. Let's get into it. By the 80s, facilities like Slack's Stanford Synchrotron Radiation Light Source were super popular for studying the molecular and atomic structures of matter with extreme detail. You can think of it as a powerful microscope, allowing scientists to see things at magnifications they hadn't achieved before. In 1992, scientists held a workshop to discuss how to proceed with their tools. A lot of them realized that they wanted more powerful storage rings to see samples in even more detail. But a scientist named Claudio Pellegrini had a different idea. A new tool called an X-ray free electron laser. He'd been working to materialize this concept for nearly 10 years and hoped the development could revolutionize X-ray light sources, providing scientists with an even better microscope. Pellegrini proposed building an X-ray free electron laser that would use the lab's existing linear accelerator at Slack. The accelerator would produce a high energy electron beam and a series of magnets would force the electrons to wiggle. The wiggling action releases energy in the form of X-ray light. The electrons would then be discarded in order to only keep the X-ray light beam. LCLS's X-ray light was designed to produce a very refined light beam with laser properties. This X-ray laser beam would allow scientists to study atomic and molecular systems at resolutions they'd never reached before. After years of testing at SLAC, UCLA, and other laboratories, construction was approved. Finally, in April 2009, Scientists and engineers powered up LCLS for the very first time. Since first light, LCLS has hosted thousands of scientists from all around the world who come to the facility to use its ultra-bright, ultra-fast x-rays. From imaging single living cells and viruses, to determining the structures of materials and fragile proteins, to making movies of chemical reactions down to the molecular level, LCLS has allowed for some huge scientific discoveries. This brings us to the present, where now, after more than a decade, LCLS is being upgraded to generate even more powerful X-ray laser beams. A new cryogenic superconducting accelerator is now running alongside the existing copper LINAC and will catapult X-ray science to new heights. Cooled to cryogenic temperatures of just 2 Kelvin, roughly the same temperature as outer space, LCLS-2 is around 10,000 times brighter and fires 8,000 times faster than LCLS. For comparison, the original LCLS can fire up to 120 pulses per second, and LCLS-2 is going to reach 1 million pulses per second. This means scientists can run more experiments in a shorter amount of time, produce more types of experiments, and more precise experiments for their research. LCLS-2 will facilitate new ways of capturing rare chemical events, studying quantum materials with unprecedented resolution, and tracking biological systems, among many other things. With these upgrades, Slack continues to advance X-ray research, supporting transformational science for the future. Today, Slack's bold vision in transforming the original accelerator into one of the 21st century's most advanced scientific tools reflects our scientists' creative capacities as they adapt and improve the past, illuminating the future. If you want to get into more of Slack's history and science, check out our previous video on Slack's early history, along with our awesome explainer videos that go more in depth about some of the mechanisms mentioned here. And don't forget to subscribe 
so you can stay up to date with all things Slack and check out our socials on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Thanks for watching.